Hello and welcome to the Dinosaur Toy Blog channel again. Today we have a special delivery from Boneyard Pets who have kindly sent us some samples to unbox on the channel and to review on the Dinosaur Toy Blog which we will do in due course. We have already reviewed one of the Boneyard Pets products on the blog which we can link to but I'm excited to open up this package and see what they've sent us new. So let's begin. I've got my scissors. I really do need to get a box cutter here. I'm going to damage my fingers one day or another. But let's see. Oh. See what I mean? Uh. Okay. Other side. I'd be interested to know what you think, actually, viewers, about this process of unboxing. Would you rather we just go straight into reviewing these things? Or do you take some sort of satisfaction out of the process, sometimes the time-consuming process, of actually getting into these boxes in the first place? If you've got preferences, one way or the other, then please do post a comment below this unboxing video because we can always change the way we do things here there's no real reason why we have to do it one way or another so but what would help I think is if I invested in a box cutter but at the moment we're just getting by very crudely uh, with some scissors there we go knocking the camera down and everything which is a new camera accident actually so I'm hoping the quality here oh I haven't done this bit I'm hoping the quality of the picture and maybe even of the sound is a little bit better than usual who knows whether it is or not it's the first video I've ever done with this it's a camcorder actually I've previously I've used cameras with, that have a video function but this one is actually a, an actual genuine camcorder. Okay, so we are in. And let's see what we have. I'll spin it around. And here we have Boneyard Pets Larry the Tyrannosaurus Rex 3D Puzzle. And below that is Pierce the Triceratops 3D Puzzle. So, we've got two dinosaur puzzles to build here. Triceratops and a T-Rex. So, let's see. Some interesting box art. Interesting logo as well with the cutouts of the bits and pieces. What's on the other side? So, here we have their full range, which includes their pterodactyl, which is the, one of the ones I think that we have already reviewed. Brachiosaurus. A Dilophosaurus that has a frill, so inspired by Jurassic Park, but completely inaccurate. Styracosaurus, a Velociraptor, Tupuxwara. Actually, maybe the Tupuxwara is the one that we reviewed uh, previously on the blog, not the Pteranodon. I'm getting those two muddled up. They also have a Spinosaurus and a Plesiosaurus as well. Now, it's the Plesiosaurus that I would be the most interested in. Of course I would be, I am a plesiosaur paleontologist, but what I do notice immediately, even from the picture, is that those four flippers are on back to front. So that's, uh, that would make an interesting review I think. Uh, I noticed that the T-Rex, this is a T-Rex, is not pictured, and nor is the Triceratops. Now that's interesting, I wonder if the Triceratops, which has a similar sort of groovy cartoony artwork style I wonder if that oh here we go the, the, the back of the box shows more on this one is what have we got in addition uh, it looks like the same things more or less different colors but with the addition of the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Triceratops and Neanderthal a Homo sapiens should be lowercase guys Homo is the genus, sapiens is the species, sapiens should be lowercase, or species are, think of E. coli, T. rex. Uh, and up here we've got Smilodon. 
So a wide variety to choose from and also uh, a range of available colours. So all of the colours of rainbow and black and white and grey as well. So if you are interested in chasing up one of these boneyard pets you have a wide variety of choices. I'll just have to review them properly on the Dinosaur Toy Blog and give you my opinion as a collector but also as a paleontologist. So watch this space for my full review of the Triceratops and also the Tyrannosaurus Rex on the Dinosaur Toy Blog soon. And of course it would be remiss of me not to say thank you very much to Boneyard Pets for sending me these two figures to review. Thank you very much for the samples guys. Mm -hmm.